Welcome to this video where I will be discussing different data file formats in big data. What are these different file formats? Why are they used? What is the purpose of it? You will have complete idea about this at the end of this video. Before I go ahead and explain, I would like to say that if you are interested in AWS data engineering project, that is a project that we will implement and learn together, it is a 15 hour session. And it is a one-on-one -on -one session. If you are interested, you can write an email to me, or you can also reach me out via WhatsApp in the number mentioned below in the description. Let us first understand what is a data file format. What's the purpose of having a data format? Data format is the topic of discussion today. So what is the purpose of this data format? What is the meaning of this data format? We will take an example. Let us say you go to a bank uh, to with, withdraw some money. Withdraw some money. If you are in the bank to withdraw some money, you are expected to give some information, right? Like account number, amount you wish to withdraw, amount that you wish to withdraw, and maybe your name. So all of this information you will be giving. Now, if you give this information in a different order, let us say you give uh, your name first, amount to withdraw first and account number, it might also work. But is it the most efficient way? It is not because the bank authorities who are sitting there or the accountant who is sitting there, they will be using an app and that requires the data to be input in a certain format. This itself is called as a data format. To achieve the best result of your transaction, or to get your work done, it is very important that you store, process, and give the data in the right format. When we speak about big data, we are speaking about a lot of data, right? A lot of data that is coming in. If this data has to be used properly and taken advantage of, meaning we retrieve the maximum out of the data that is stored, we have to follow a proper way of data format. In other words, we need to make sure we store it properly. We can order it properly. We can compress it properly, etc. In, in line with this, we have different kinds of data format. That is ORC, Parquet, Avro, CSV, and JSON. CSV and JSON is something that many of you have seen, I believe. ORC, Parquet, and Avro are something that are very famously used in our big data processing system. The way in which these data, format, data formats are primarily, uh, let us say, segregated in today's world is columnar and row-based data formats. This is one of the most sorted way of understanding data formats. For example, let us take a sales table. This is a sales table. This is a column. Let us say in this sales table, we have an ID. We have item underscore name. And then we have uh, amount. Let us take example one now. If I ask you to give me total sales done, which column would you be focusing on? We will be focusing on the amount column, right? This particular query or transaction requires only interacting with one column at the most. We will take an, another example, example two. Here, I will ask you, tell me what did an ID 004 bought or purchase? For this particular information, we have to retrieve a, a row. This will result in a row scan, and this should result in a column scan. Taking this example, this is very important for you to understand, is that if you are doing column-oriented scans or column-oriented calculation, then if you store the data in the column-based format, then you will achieve much faster result. If you are doing row-based calculation, like understanding a user behavior, 
trying to understand what the user purchased, what is the status of a particular order. This requires a row scan and storing such kind of information in a row based format will help you a lot. This is why most of the data formats are segregated on a very high level into two sections. That is a row based data format and a column based data format. A row based data formats are nothing but we have JSON, we have CSV and we have Avro. And when it comes to column based data formats, we have ORC and Parquet. This is just one of such examples compared to many of the different use cases that comes with data format. I would like to give you a real time example that in the interview, what happens? Let us say in the interview, usually this question pops up is what is the best data format that you are storing the data in? Or they might also ask you if uh, what is the data format that you prefer to choose to store the data in and why? This is a common interview question. Now, how would you want to answer this? Based on the information that I just provided you in this video, it is pretty clear that there is no one particular format that suits everything, right? So formulate your answer in this way. Storing the data in the data format depends really on how we are accessing the end result. Meaning if we want to access sales related data, that is total sales done per day, per week, per month, or if you want to understand total item souls. So if you have some kind of aggregation, sum which focuses on, focus on certain columns only, then I would prefer to store this in column based format. But if you are intending to use certain kind of machine learning or data analysis regarding how a particular product was sold, what is the user behavior when he is buying things? In this case, a row based format helps. So in my project, we tend to use both of it based on the end result. That is who and what the query is who and what the data is getting used for. This is just an example of data format or one of the properties of data format that I've shared with you in this video. There are a lot more information available around this data formats and where we usually discuss this in detail in our AWS data engineering training, which is a one on one session for 15 hours. If you are interested, feel free to message me or email me. I look forward to speak with you soon. That is it for this video. I hope it was informative. If you have liked this video, don't forget to click on the like button and share further. Thank you and have a nice day.